What's up guys, it's Kiana. Welcome back to my corner. As you can probably tell, I am obviously not in my house and I'm not in my original corner. I am actually in Florida at my aunt's house and that's where I'm gonna be filming today's video. So let's get into it. My left ear needs cleaned out so bad. I can barely hear out of it. It's like clogged up. I really need to get it cleaned out, so please. But I might sound like I'm yelling is because I really can't hear out of it, so just bear with me. Okay, so as you can probably tell by the title, today's video is going to be finally me reviewing Kinsey's Rules for Life, How to Be Happy, Healthy, and Dance to Your Own Beat by Mackenzie Ziegler. And if you don't know her, she's most likely known for her role on Dance Moms, the reality show like from years ago. I used to watch this show when I was younger and it's crazy to me because people who are my age used to watch the show and people who are like her exact age I feel like aren't even like I don't know she's like 14 years old I think and I know it's like weird for me to be 20 reading her book but I love reading people's books about their actual real lives more than like fairy tales you know so I did a review on Chloe's book so if you want to see that link is in the description that's actually what most of you guys wanted me to most of you guys who Watch that video are the ones who wanted me to review this book so I finally finished it I literally just finished reading it so I wrote down some you know reviews about the book I thought it was a really good book I give it a 10 out of 10 it was very well written I mean of course like when you go into writing a book you have people helping you but I think for 14 years old and I think she might have wrote this book when she was like maybe 13 12 or 13 so I think it was pretty well written for her age, so that's really, really good. Um, so let's just get into some of the things I thought were good about the book. I really didn't notice anything bad about it, so I think it's a good thing. So the first thing I wrote, I typed it out in my laptop, is she gives a lot of great advice to kids her age. Because obviously I'm 20 years old and I could take her advice because sometimes even people younger than you are wiser than you and have some good advice. Um, she gives a lot of good advice for growing up as a teenager and going into your teen years and she just has a really really good way of explaining things and I think that if everybody wrote a book about how they dealt with what they went through more people would be able to relate and it would help them get through. So I think her writing this book and choosing to write her own book about her rules for life was a good idea because she really 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 incorporated a lot of really good tips and tricks for life that help her get through things and her rules that she shares for life are really good ways for teenagers to make it through this crazy life because if I was like 14, if I was like from like the age of 11 to like 14 reading this book, I think this would really help me with a lot of stuff. Now I wish I had something like this to read when I was younger and turning into a teenager and like a young adult because it, she gives a lot of really good advice. She shares a lot of really cool rules and it's her rules for life So obviously she's gonna share rules and most of them are ad advice But but the rules okay, what I'm trying to say is her rules are like advice But like it's a rule like her number one rule is to always be true to yourself and be happy That's what it says in her forward Just be true to yourself. I think that's a rule that everybody should always take in is to always be true to yourself and never try to be anybody else and always stick with who you are. Um, I think one of my favorite things about the book is she she did a thing called Ask Kinsey um, where she like had people ask her questions and she answered them. I think that was a really cool idea because I think somebody who's in the spotlight, people always want to ask them how they made it through situations in life that they don't feel like they can make it through and for her to add that little thing in her book I think is amazing because people can always go back and read oh this is how she got through this okay you know so I think that's really cool it's like you have it on paper now it's never gonna go away you don't have to like dig through files to find it like you have write it under your nose whenever you need a tip or trick advice about something it's in the book right here in this book but I really love this book um, but like I said, one of my favorite things she did was ask Kenzie because she incorporated, when she answered the questions, she incorporated an example of what that person was going through herself so that they know that she went through that same situation and she's not just throwing an answer out there just for an answer. She actually incorporated a situation that she may have experienced at that same situation. Like, 
one of the questions was my parents will let me go like on a camping trip and she's like you know asked them like why won't they let you go is it gonna be dangerous and she was saying how my parents will let me do stuff sometimes but a good way for me to get them and persuade them into letting me go is if I like act a certain way you know it's just really good advice and I think it was a really good part and a really good thing to add into the book um, for Chloe's book one of my favorite things is that her pages were textbook pages now I don't hate Kenzie's book just because it's not textbook pages um, but she does incorporate like pictures and stuff in her book I don't want to spoil it for everybody but there are like several pages of pictures that she shares which is really cool so if you're like a big dance moms fan or a really big Kinsey fan you probably like this book because she incorporates lots of pictures of her when she was younger while she's on tour photo shoots and things like that so i think you guys would enjoy this book if you're a big fan of her um i wouldn't say that she's like my idol and then i'm like a huge fan of her but i do every now and then keep up with what she's doing um just because I did used to watch Dance Moms and I used to love that show. And I was like, Brooke, when Brooke started the show, when they started the show, when they started the show, the age that Brooke was, that's the age I was. I'm about the same age as Brooke. So I think she's like a year older than me. Or actually like a couple months. I'm pretty sure we were born in the same year. Um, so it's kind of weird for me to, like I said, when I did my Chloe, when I read, I can't speak today. When I read Chloe's book, it inspired me a lot. Me and Chloe, I actually could relate to her so much in her book. I feel like, well, she's like 17. I feel like we could be friends. I'm 20, I'll be 21 in June. I, I don't know if that's like, I have friends who are like 17, 18. Um, but I feel like if she was listed like a couple years older, we would be really close, even though she doesn't live anywhere near me. But anyway, <laughs> because we related, I related to her so much in her book, like almost to a T. Like we, some of the situation, situations she shared in her book, I've literally gone through almost the exact same stuff. Okay, so as I'm looking back on this video and editing this specific part, and yes, I always edit right after I film just to get it over with if I have the time, but I realized how I was talking a lot about Chloe's book when this is supposed to be about Kenzie's book. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to take anything away from Kenzie's book because the only reason I related more to Chloe is just she had more relatable stuff to me personally. But Kenzie's book, I, and she's a lot younger than me, but a lot of the things she described in her book, I went through too in her book. So it was very relatable to me too. I did not mean to make this all about Chloe. Both of their books are amazing. I love both of them equally. They're both really good books. And actually, Kenzie's is really good for her age. So I didn't mean to take anything away from her. So I'm sorry if that's what it seemed like I was doing because I kind of noticed that a little bit. So like I said, if you haven't read her book either, I'll link my um, review to it below. It's a really good book and I suggest it. Even if you don't even, even for Kenzie, like if you don't even know who she is and you're somebody between the ages 12 and 14, or even if you're older than that, I think it's a really good book to read. I think it might be a good book for your teenager to read, even if they have no clue who she is. You don't have to know who the author is to read the book. It's always a good read. So I definitely recommend it, 10 out of 10. If you have ever read this book, let me know what you think about it down below. Even if you didn't like it, it's okay. Not everybody likes everything. And if you have any other books from the Dance Moms or Girls you would like me to read or any other good books out there for me to read, let me know in the comments below. But that's pretty much all I have for this review. Initially, the whole book was really great. And I'm pretty sure Maddie wrote her forward, which is really cool. Because uh, it literally says right there at the bottom of the book. Forward by Maddie Ziegler. <laughs> Um, I'm, I have not read Maddie's book yet. I do want to read that. So if it's really good, if it's worth it, let me know below. I'm sure it is. And I'll see you guys next time on my corner. And if you want to see some of my vlogs while I'm down here in Florida, I will link one down below. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Oh my God. My ear is so clogged. I'm just going to put my sunglasses on and go sit by the pool. Because what can you do?